Hi guys, I know it's super, um, it's kind of dark, it's late. I wanted to jump in and show you a few goodies, all in the spirit of Freedom Fashion and Rolling Now for Fall. So this is my book, The Language of Fashion Design. Um, you don't need it to do the program at all, but I wanted to share it with you. It's actually available in Spanish, French, Russian, English, and Chinese. So I'm very proud of that. And it does feature work from some of my uh, former students as well as designers from all over the globe. Because as you know, global fashion and diversity is like super important value to me. So designers from all over the world. Um, the book has 26 chapters. So there are 26 elements or principles of fashion design. Each chapter covers one, and each chapter has a designer biography included too. So it's a, it's a fun book. It was a lot of fun to write and research. Um, God, I wish I could have in included millions of photos. There are so many designers and so many things I love to share about my love for fashion design. Um, if, on my YouTube channel, there are a few um, talks where I'm talking about, ooh, this is an old copy, <laughs> where I talk about, where I read, um, there's one YouTube video called Texture, where I read the chapter on texture and talk to you more deeply about the element of texture in fashion. The other one that's up there is Asymmetry on my YouTube channel, Laura Volpentesta. And then there's a chapter, um, what was the other chapter included there? I can't remember right now. Sorry, I'm trying to fix the light. Okay, the other things I wanted to share with you. Oh, that's so much better. <laughs> this little peek at my book. This is a used copy. Um, another thing I want to share with you is the one of the freebies that's on my website. So if you subscribe at fashionillustrationtribe.com, um, there's a whole bundle of goodies that you get. Uh, model drawing, how to build, how to build a body video. Um, and there's also this booklet, 100 Fashion Design Inspiration Prompts. Um, this booklet is not only design prompts. Um, it also has like some questions for yourself, some inspirations, and some templates that you can put paper over and like use to sketch designs onto. Especially in the back, I have croaky, um bodies that you can sketch your clothes onto. Um, posed, dramatic, straightforward, instructional, all kinds of bodies so that you can play with, um, ex oh, that's just an example of how you can take the existing body and then lay it over the figure and then sketch designs right onto it. Is this an asymmetrical? This is from a former live stream video. But the point of this whole booklet is to get you inspired and started. So sometimes you get that kind of brain freeze, writer's block where you don't know what to sketch. So you can like go into the booklet, randomly point. So for example, this one says, take a favorite designer you love and pretend you're designing for them. That's a great, great approach. That's just one way that you could jumpstart your sketching as a daily, like a journal. Seriously, like take out your sketchbook and maybe do a prompt every night, sketch for 10 minutes. And Freedom Fashion, which is enrolling now, is all above all else. It's about that freedom that comes from sketching, period. Like opening up, tapping into that well of the unknown and the inspired and seeing what your creativity has to offer you in each day. Getting the facility of sketching figures, rendering fabrics and textures, and like immersing yourself in the beautiful art of fashion design. So right here what I have, again my camera is so close that you can't really see, is a portfolio book with a bunch of different random things tucked into it. Um, and I just figured I'd start pulling things out and doing videos about them. So here you can see there is a fabric story tucked in here. Random fabric story. But like, how exciting is that? 
so in Freedom Fashion, we'll talk about, you know, what goes into planning or creating a fabric story, resources for where you can find fabric swatches um, to build your stories. Oh my gosh, this swatch brings a lot of memories to me. So, you know, which fabrics are knits or wovens. This is a nice mix. This is a knit. These are knits. Some of them are, this one has a play of texture from shiny to matte. This one has a play of texture that gives it like irregularity and it goes from sheer to opaque. It's a lot of nice variety in there. And then not only is it a fabric story, but it's also a color story, isn't it? So um, I love that like cocoa brown with the blues. And then this is a, this is actually a very synthetic fabric but it has a very earthy and natural looking print. Um, this is a woolen, and this is a denim, like a jeans fabric. And I love that I did this, who knows, years ago, and when I pull it out again, I'm still excited to see it. So we'll talk about how you can create fabric stories and then how you can also take those fabric stories and start translating them into design collections. Um, another thing I came across here is this beautiful beaded dress that um, I illustrated once on Naomi Campbell because there's also, she was on the cover of uh, Brazilian Vogue wearing that same dress. Who's it by? It's always fun to, oh, this isn't, I have it marked somewhere else who the designer is. I can't remember right now, but I noticed that it's, lattice work and beadwork, which is all really earthy stuff that I love. Um, I also like crochet. And then they were, I found it interesting to come across this because this photo here has, is uh, designed by Provenza Schooler, which I always smile when I see their names because they were in my draping class when I taught at Parsons in the first year VFA program. They were, um, yeah. But I think the reason I kept this was because I loved her accessories. But anyway, what is nice is to have a book where you store all your inspirations. What else do I have in here? I have this set of sketches done in gouache with some metallic paint. This was my like sun god, sun goddess collection. <laughs> You know, it's so fun to develop the skills that give you that freedom, that freedom to just explore your ideas and play. I mean, it's professional skills, etc. but above all, it's this freedom. And I remember these are all pieces that I created while teaching on a live stream. So I created these live on video, I'd probably on Periscope few years ago. I didn't date my work. It's a good reminder to always date your work. Um, what else do I have here? Various kinds of inspiration. Here's another fabric story. And the purpose of this here, I have, um, it was from a live demonstration that I did in class one day when I was teaching at Parsons. So it's a great example of what we do in Freedom Fashion. Our goal is really to go from creating a fabric story to, and this is really neat, it's a knit that looks kind of like a snake skin. So it has a little bit of stretch and it has texture and it's slightly velvety. It's a beautiful fabric. I love also that this fabric is included and it's got, um, it's reversible. So you have the yin and yang, different patterns in it. And then taking those fabrics and, by the way, I have notes here for the content and type of this white fabric. Um, all these swatch kits and things, I'll give you references in the course program, how you can get your own fabric swatches. And then here what I did is you can see the colors are identical. So how do you mix your gouache paint to match your fabrics truly? I'll teach you that. And then how do we draw, how do we shade? How do we draw faces? How do we draw gathers and 
shadows, how to create the feeling of layers and shine, how to create textures such as eyelid or embroidery, um, pleat detailing, <laughs> pleats, accessories. How, how do we do this? How do we draw things like cascades and collars? This is what Freedom Fashion is about. This is what it looks like when you use gouache on the illustration paper. And this set of sketches, I remember very clearly, this was done live in class at Parsons a few years ago when I was teaching a class. So, you know, we went from blank paper to lightly sketching these figures in pencil, to mixing our paint colors, to laying down the colors one by one. I have a specific order I like to work in. There's a whole process that when you know the process and you have the format, it really frees you up to be creative and have a lot of fun. Fun, fun, fun. I mean, you get to keep and enjoy your sketches for life. You get to tell your own story about the clothing, about who the woman is, about what her body type is, about how you see fashion. And that could change every day. That could change every year over the course of your life. Fashion design is a very rich journey that you get to go on to discover yourself, to tap into your intuition, to channel all these great ideas and create luscious, gorgeous art. So I invite you on this journey. If you watched the previous video that went up today, um, enrollment is, you have early bird bonuses for signing up before September 3rd. The official class program starts on September 3rd. And then there's another bonus for pay in full versus payment plan, but we also have a payment plan in place. So there's a lot of different ways you can join the program. The videos are pre-recorded. There will be pop-up live videos in our Facebook group, and there is a private community where you can always get feedback, share your work, chat with other students, etc. cetera. But, um, what was I gonna say? But you don't have the time constraint of that it all disappears when you're done. You get to keep your access to the program. This is actually from my evening wear course. Um, a whole thing about shine, metallic shine, etc. Um, so again, a lot of what's in this book that I'm holding here is old demonstrations from other classes, etc. But that's what Freedom Fashion is about. Lots of demonstrations and techniques, as well as creative techniques. This is an illustration I did in gouache, a portrait of a face. There's more stuff over there, but you can't see it because I can't fit it. This is another fabric story that I then illustrated. We talk about flats and different kinds of details and how you can draw them so you can explore different silhouettes. If you love fashion, you know what I'm talking about. Model drawing is a big part of the program. This is all done from a live model. Um, and I also have a course called Model Magic where we explore all that. There is an all-inclusive package where you can take all my courses for one price, but I'm really happy right now to be offering just the Freedom Fashion program for someone who really wants to focus on that semester-long program, 15 modules, 15 weeks. Take it as long as you, as long as you want to complete it, but to explore quick sketching, and developing your own concept groups as well as final illustrations such as uh, in gouache on illustration paper such as this you start where you're at and learn as you go there is no question too silly and the work is never done. My point is to give you an encouraging environment where you can really spread your wings and fly. Here's another croaky template. So we do freehand sketching as well as sketching on templates. The most important, here's another you know, swatch group with sketches. The point is to get you expressing yourself, creating and sharing your ideas, getting experience, confident in fashion sketching. This is an Isemiyaki striped piece. This uh, illustration 
was also recorded live so you can watch the whole process on my YouTube channel. If there's anything you're looking for that you can't find or any more information you want to get, let me know. Send me a message, comment under this video, or I'm also available info at fashionillustrationtribe.com. Laura Volpen Testa, we start September 3rd, but enrollment is open now with early bird bonuses. And this could be your time. And I'm sure that you know. There are only 25 slots. Um, first come, first served. And uh, enrollment closes either when those slots fill or on September 3rd, uh, early bird bonuses disappear as well as you know, you can still get in after that, but the price goes up and the bonus disappears. So let me know if you're interested, if you have questions. I can't wait to meet you and stay tuned all week. I have more and more videos to share things to make your mouth water and get you excited about thinking about what's possible for you when you join this program, where you get comfortable enough and supported enough to in spite of your fears, get into a playful state where it's natural and easy to take risks and discover your calling, your inner magic, and embark on a beautiful adventure. Signing off, I'm Laura Volpentesta of FashionIllustrationTribe.com. Don't forget that if you subscribe today, you'll get your free packet of goodies that is just for subscribers. But also, if you visit my homepage today at fashionillustrationtribe.com, there is a whole bundle of videos from instructional to like mindset and inner critic work, um, all and also a primer called Drawing Without Fear, which is not fashion specific, but mindset specific. It's supposed to, it's, intended to be a real game changer for you if you're afraid of drawing. So I encourage you to go check that out because it's on my homepage now and it's only up during this enrollment period and then I'll be taking it down and hiding it away until it's another enrollment period. <laughs> All right guys, thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.